In today's video, we're going to talk about your eye movements and how they're involved with reading. Now, when we do our speed reading and memory courses, we talk a lot about using your hand or pen as a guide while you're reading. Now, it's obviously more practical when you have something printed, an actual physical book in front of you, but it's just using your hand as a guide like this or your finger, or it could even be a pen to guide your eyes along while you're reading. And although a lot of speed reading programs will tell you to do this, not every program will explain the science behind why you should be doing this. And it has to do with the way that your eyes work. There are two different eye movements that all human beings have. One is called a saccadic eye movement. The other is called a smooth pursuit eye movement. And it's important to understand these eye movements because it's the reason why you want to use your hand or pen or something to guide your eyes. First of all, it's because your eyes are attracted to motion. Something moves around, we pay more attention to it. But let's get into these two different eye movements, saccadic and smooth pursuit. So let me show you what I mean. I'm going to do a little demonstration. And we're gonna zoom in on my eyes here, but I'm gonna move my eyes from one marker to the other marker. And first I'm going to demonstrate the saccadic eye movement. What you will notice is while my eyes are moving, they're gonna be making these little jumps from my left to my right as I'm moving my eyes from here to here. They're gonna make these little quick little stops. They call those saccades or a saccadic eye movement. So go ahead and watch how my eyes move from blue marker to red marker. Here we go. All right, I'll do it again. You'll see those little stops are called saccadic eye movements. I'll do it one more time. Now, here's a smooth pursuit. Smooth pursuit eye movements only happen when something is moving around. So I'm now going to move one of the markers and I want you to look at how my eyes move this time. I'm gonna move the blue marker. Watch my eyes. You see how they just smoothly follow along? And you'll see that that movement is very smooth and it's only happening because the marker is moving around. I'm not voluntarily trying to move my eyes in that manner. It's just something that's automatic and natural. Now, why am I bringing this up? When you are using something to guide your eyes, some sort of movement on the page, whether it's, it could be your cursor on the screen, although I know that's not the most practical thing to do, but when you have something printed using your hand or your finger or a pen, will help you pay more attention. It'll increase your concentration levels. If you're better focused, you're going to read faster. Also, if you have better focus, you're gonna have better comprehension. And this is part of the scientific reason why you would wanna use your hand or pen as a guide. Now, I understand that's not practical for reading on the screen. Nobody wants to be dragging their finger across the screen. If you're trying to pace yourself on the screen, we recommend using a program that we developed that is a free speed reading application. It's web-based, it's called Accelerator. So if you go to the link on your screen, accelerator.com, that's a free speed reading app. Basically, it blinks the words on the screen at a pace or a speed that you set in the program. You could use it as a nice little training tool to get yourself reading faster. You could also use this just as a productivity tool if you read a lot on the screen. But next time you have something actually printed out, Remember, using your hand or pen as a guide is going to help you focus more because it initiates that smooth pursuit eye movement. When you, when you have that eye movement, you are paying a lot more attention. That's how we're wired as human beings. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out the video. If you liked what you see and if you wanna see more of it, please like or subscribe or maybe both. And we'll be sending more videos as we go along.